really happy to receive from Retivist this morning. The, uh, I think it's the, the RT95. Now, um, Jonathan, M0JSX, um, had one of these delivered not so long ago and did a really good re um, review on one. I, I've had one sent to me, which I'm very pleased about. So it's my turn and uh, I should do a review on this radio um, very soon. In fact, I'm going to open it now. So let's see what we get in the box. Um, <laughs> of course, I'm doing the usual thing. Um, One-handed opening, never a good idea. Uh, it's my first view, and I'm uh, so far very impressed with the oh the packaging. Um, oh, nice manual. Is that multiple language or single language? Multi language, okay. Um, I'll do it like that. Very nice. Oh, how cute! Oh, I do like that. I can understand why Jonathan was uh, so impressed. Um, it's a really weighty, nice little. Um, I guessed it's a forged aluminium chassis. Uh, I'm not sure, but that's a real nice weighty chassis. Nice bit of heat sinking. Um, yeah, can't wait to get that switched on and see if it, what it does like. Um, nice little uh, T power supply cable. Um, standard uh, thumb, now, thumb screws and, uh, oh, is that a spare fuse? It is. RJ45 type connector for the radio uh, microphone. Nice size microphone, actually. Quite chunky. Quite like that. Yeah. Oh, and a excellent. And a programming cable. Most important. Excellent stuff. Well, I can't wait to get that uh, all put together. And uh, we'll see how it performs. Okay, so um, this is the Retifus 95, um, straight out of the box. Um, all I've done is connected it to the power supply and stuck a, a bit of coax in that goes to a white stick antenna on the roof for 2 and 70. Um, nothing else done. So my hope is that I should be able to switch it on and use the radio almost straight away. Um, I'm not going to read the instruction manual because I'm hoping that it's going to be intuitive enough to uh, uh, to uh, allow me to use it. But anyway, shall we? Uh, shall we see power supply on into life? Cool. Now, I will own up to one thing. I've already been into it into the menu and turned off the beep. Um, it was a, a very annoying beep and to make the video, I can't really have beep, beep, beep every time I turn a knob or push a button. So I have turned that part off, but it is literally switched on apart from that. So we have a relatively nice and respectable um, microphone. It's quite chunky in the hands. Um, we have up and down buttons. I don't know if I can get it into focus. Let's see. Yeah. Up and down buttons on the side. Uh, a lit display. I don't know if you can turn the, the lit display off. Uh, we have a lock lever here that uh, turns it all off apart from um, the PTT. We have a band select AB at the bottom. I don't know if I can get that back into focus. Yep. As you can see. Um, a direct dial keypad and DTF M tones, uh, a selection of um, programmable buttons down the side. I don't know which what they do yet. Not important. Um, we can press the buttons and find out if you like. And uh, a nice large PTT on the side. Um, hook type uh, approach, but uh, it all looks good so far. Um, I don't know if it's got a speaker in it, but it looks like it might have. It is a speaker microphone. 
Yes. Anyway, let's have a look at the front of the radio. Uh, by the way, we're in slightly low light because I wanted this display to be uh, nice and sharp in the video. So the test for me here is to program my local repeater. Uh, like I said, I've not read any of the books and anything so far. So let's go to the frequency. Oh, hang on. OK, we can already see an issue. Uh, we're in 10 kilohertz steps rather than 12. Yeah, rather than 12.5. So I reckon it's going to be in a menu. OK, menu. There's the steps. Boom, that was easy. So you literally press the function key, knob turn uh, mo moves it up and down the, um, yeah, moves it up and down the menu. Uh, press the, f the, uh, the the button to confirm, move it again, and press it to confirm. Simple, very, very simple. So now hopefully we'll have, yeah, we do. We have the right stepping for our frequencies. So let's go to the receive frequency of the local repeater, uh, which is that. Um, there's no auto repeat by the looks of it. Um, although it did say it did say CTCSS when I pressed the button, so maybe it's already been set. I don't know. Um, right. So the first thing we need to do is set an off. So function once. Yeah, here we go. I can set a shift. It's on plus minus. And I'm guessing that by pressing that you could change the frequency um, offset, but I'm not going to do that. So it's on press. Oh, there we go. How can that be possible? Don't tell me that it's come at, this, at the right um, CTCSS uh, frequency. Um, but that was very, very simple. Press the button again, um, shift. I guess that would be CTCSS that side. Yes, it is CTCSS. Press the button and yeah, there you go. So it was actually by chance on the right frequency. Um, so that was easy enough to sort. Um, wow. I'm liking this radio a lot. Yeah. Okay, we already know it works. Whoa, brilliant. So how do we put that into memory? So we need uh, a write to memory button. I guess that's mem because it's got mom. So, oh, that's monitor. So, okay, let's see if we've got a write to memory somewhere. Yeah, so after about 30 seconds of um, getting up close and personal with the radio, I've sussed out how to put things into memory. So you've got memory and um, VFO button here, which is on P2. So I press and hold P2. It will say memory choice. So you just say yes to it, I think. Um, can I go to memory now? No, nope. OK, bear with me may have to press another button. Memory and hold. Memory and hold. Bang. There we go. So now we're in memory mode. Yeah, so there's another memories. So come out to VFO. Um, let's put in the other repeater that we've got here, um, which is, what is it? It's um, WH, isn't it? No. Um, GH, Golf Hotel. So let's go into the repeater book and find Golf Hotel's frequencies. There's Golf Hotel. So we need change band. Well, the good thing about this is that if I go to the band mode, I can change it. I need to put in the frequency of four three three one two five so four three three one two five done on the hand key let me just show you that sorry 
So four, three, three, one, two, five. Excellent. I need to press the function button, find the shift, which is here. Press the shift button and it's at 500 and because that's obviously quite a lot, but I don't need that much. I need to uh, put the shift in. I wonder if I can do that. Yep, see so it. Here we go. Let me just uh, zoom in again so you can see this. Just out of curiosity, can you dial it? Yeah, you can. Ah, okay. So it'll be the one six zero zero. Cool. So that's uh, the right bit now. So brilliant. And now I need a CTCSS tone. Transmit CTCSS. And I need the frequency at. 118. Oh, that was easy too. And to put it into memory, press and hold P2, go up one, and press and hold it again. Oh, let's look at that. Wow. M0 MSN just testing access. Sounds whoopie do to me. Oh, good evening, Andy. Thanks very much indeed. I've uh, just put together a, a Retivis um, RT95, um, which is a, a really, really inexpensive, um, well priced um, 2 and 70 centimetre um, radio, and I'm just testing it over. Thanks very much. Uh, well, it's uh, all good my end too. Um, lovely audio coming uh, from you. I'm hoping it's the same the other way. Yep, it sounds all right. I can tell you keeping your voice down though. Yeah, I don't need to shout. <laughs> but, um, oh, that's okay. That's good. Thanks very much, mate. Much appreciated. M0 MSN. Right, anyway, um, back to this uh, RT95, um, and let's just check the output power on all of the various settings, if I can get it to stay somewhere. There we go. Okay. Trying to get it both in the picture. So on 70 centimetres, on... What's the power setting? On low power, 70 centimetres, 4 watts, medium power, medium power, 16 watts, high power, high power, 21 and a half, 22 watts. Cool. Okay, let's go to... 144, 200 let's say, so this will be on low power, 3.8, nearly 4 watts, medium power, 12 and a half, high power, 23 and a half, nearly 24. So it does live, live up to its name. Great, okay. It does what it specifies, up to 25 watts. Um, now, on the dummy load, it did go to 25 watts, but we're on the antenna because I want to uh, make some contacts. Okay, we've all seen the setup before. It is basically spectral purity time. Um, this is set to 144200. Uh, we're using an external attenuator 40 decibels 
Um, it's been set, it's all set up, ready to rock and roll. All I've got to do basically is hit the magic button um, and then let it settle. So here we go, kicked it off. Got the usual s signals to begin with. Let it settle, let it settle, let it settle. Well, I think that's amazing. That's definitely a win. Well done, Retivis. I've only scraped the surface here. I could go on talking about this Retivis RT95 for hours, but I know you lot wouldn't want to hear that. Um, look, brilliant radio, fabulous radio for the for the price and for the uh, for the uh, for the beginner and also the experienced um, um, amateur. Um, it's a two and seventy centimeter mobile radio that can be used at home as well as in the car um i, I think it's brilliant I, it knocks the socks off a lot of the competition for the price um and uh yeah i can't i can't um i can't fault it there's a lot more uh in the menus than i've covered here lots lots more um and it's a really accomplished radio really really good audio quality is fabulous the broadcast audio quality is fabulous. Um, do you know what? I don't think you're going to get much better for the money. Thanks very much, Retivus, for letting me review this uh, radio. Thank you. And for you lot, cheers for now. Bye-bye. M0MSN. Cheers. Bye -bye.